enjoy having a hot lunch at your lunch break instead of something, you know, mm, not as not as um, appealing. And certainly your kids will appreciate this as well. We've got much more to come. We want to share with you a little bit more about we what we as a company do in the community. It's called HSN Cares. Here's some more info on that. Thank you so much. Thank you, my friend. Mm -hmm. Since 2011, HSN Cares and Habitat for Humanity have been helping women realize their dream of home ownership. HSN Cares believes in giving back. You're building lives. HSN actually cares. For the entire month of May, HSN Cares will donate $1 from every at-home item sold during at-home shows. None of this could have happened without your donations. Thank you for helping me make my dream a reality. HSN Cares is the heart of everything we do. It's HSN's Memorial Day sale, and you won't want to miss it. Enjoy these exclusive offers. Four or more flex pay on everything. 12-month VIP financing, free shipping, and five flex pay on select Beautyrest and Simmons mattresses. Plus, great deals all weekend long, with special buys every day on some of your favorite brands, like J. King, Samsung, and new arrivals from Diane Gilman. HSN's Memorial Day sale starts Friday. Glad you're with us here in the kitchen. I'm Callie Northhagen. Thanks for joining us on HSN. We've got this really cool little portable oven right now, and I think this is so great. First of all, it's a nice $10 savings. While they last, we do have limited numbers. I think the orange is down to a dozen. Uh, we'll go through colors, and then we'll explain how this works. It's an insulated little, basically, it's like your little lunch bag, but it gives you the option of heating your lunch and having a nice lunch and or dinner, whatever life, you know, wherever life brings you, whether it's you, whether it's your husband, whether it's your kids, whether it's going on a potluck or bringing some to the church social, it's definitely something you will apply in your life and love. It's a customer pick and you can read those reviews. Even people who spent more money on it love it. You may want to get a couple. We have blue, we have black, there's orange, there's this uh, bright lime green, and those are your options. Oh, and pink. We've got our nice bright pink. That's cute. Five seven three six seven eight. Speaking of pretty in pink, Kelly Deedling is oh, joining that us. Oh, a lovely intro. Hello, Hello, darling. How are you? This is one of my favorites, and thank it, you for putting too. this little glass baking dish in yes. here. Yes. Terrific idea. So I love these. Not only I are they going to reheat your food, they'll actually cook it from either raw or frozen. Yes. No way. Yeah. So it's it, you think of it like a slow cooker. It's a different uh, sort of technology than slow cooking. But when you put it on the inside, it just gets to a certain temperature and it stops. So it won't overcook your food. Oh. Yeah, so about 165 degrees and it stops. So it doesn't overcook. You don't have to worry about it. We talked to lots of folks that actually buy this for friends and family members that can't use an oven anymore. They don't want using an oven anymore because point. they'll leave the oven on or forget that it's on. It works with any flat dish, right? So anything that's flat, whether it's glass, plastic, aluminum, paper, paper plate, anything with a flat bottom, it works based on conduction heating. I'll talk about the technology in a minute. You so just there's no buttons or There's bells no buttons. or anything. There's no buttons. You just plug it in. You can see it looks like a regular lunch tote, but it cooks your food. So that's why we call it our Hot Logic Mini Portable Oven. Sweet. Because it really is an oven, whether it's your frozen meal or what I just revealed there was one of these little bag meals. I yeah. always buy them BOGO, right? So you're going to save money. You're Definitely. actually going to have this different lifestyle shift because if you're on the go, if you're at work, if you're in a cubicle, if you know anybody that travels and goes in their car all the time and they're constantly getting fast food and paying $12 for fast food, you can now eat healthy and save money by using your pot logic. All you need is an electric outlet. So it's about nine and a half inches in length, seven and a quarter in the width, and it's just like three and a half inches in the top. And you can see it's got that reflective interior, which I think helps with that slow conductivity that well, you mentioned. Well, it does, and it actually keeps the heat in. It also keeps odors in. So if you're literally in a cubicle, it keeps the odors at your desk. You don't even smell them in the next cubicle over because it has that insulation. So how long should we leave it on? Do we need so to turn it off? So what point? you're cooking, right? Okay. So if you're doing a frozen meal, me. like for an example, the ones I always do every single day, and especially here at HSN, if you're doing one of these boxed frozen meals, I'd give it an hour. So maybe before you go into okay. a meeting, or when maybe while you're answering email. So from frozen. From frozen. Nice. And you can see the results. Um, I gave this to one of my friends, actually it's my cousin who's a kindergarten teacher. When she gets to work, she plugs in her frozen meal at 8 a.m. because you can't overcook it. So by noon, if she needs lunch then, or one, maybe two, 
they don't always get lunch at the same time. It's ready, not overcooked. It's not microwave mushy because you're cooking it inside a personal oven. And it has a flat bottom. You can see this is a plastic one with a flat bottom. Anything with a flat bottom. This is so any great. Any of the frozen meals, I'm right? I'm feeling so guilty right now because I sent my man off to work today with two cold chicken breasts for lunch. I'm that's like, well, okay. Hope you're, to, <laughs> hope you're gonna enjoy the cold chicken. In but four that's hours. okay <laughs> as long as you sent him with a hot logic. <laughs> I, that's what I'm thinking. Then he can I heat up his chicken breasts. If those were raw <laughs> chicken breasts, he could have cooked them from raw with some vegetables, some I love seasoning. This. I'm totally getting this. Please don't buy them all. <laughs> Less than a thousand available. This is a, a nice price break, ten dollars off, and it's perfect any time of the year, but especially in the summer. Oh, absolutely. You have uh, have an electric outlet will travel. We talked to hundreds of flight attendants that love this because nice. they're expensive to eat airport food and can you imagine eating airplane food every day? Oh. So they actually bring healthy meals or frozen meals and they plug it into the airplane, you know, and they can have a nice home cooked meal. It's a lifestyle switch. It goes from grabbing the fast food to now eating a frittata for breakfast. This was an idea we got from a gentleman that traveled all the time in hotel rooms, overnight in hotel room, overnight in hotel room. He actually put his eggs, his sausage, and his veg in at night and woke up in the morning to that. That really smells good. It doesn't good. take six hours to cook or eight hours to cook. It probably would take about an hour and a half to cook. So you just but made this here. But it doesn't overcook. Yeah. So that's his result. That's what he did. He popped in his bacon, his onions, so it saved him money because he doesn't have to go out and buy breakfast. And it also saved him, you know, eating an unhealthy meal. By now way, he's eating that healthy meal. Great info in this little book, uh, booklet you're getting. It's a recipes quick start guide, well. and recipes are included. I mean, like oatmeal and chili cheese dip and sweet, we see, and sweet and sour meatballs and <laughs> mini burritos. And that was a tongue twister. Sandwiches. I'll give you that one. Monterey chicken <laughs> ravioli. <laughs> Lots of great recipes in here. I like this it. is neat. This I is, love this. So this is a flat bottom baking dish. Any dish, whether it's plastic, whether it's glass, whether it's aluminum, you Even know, paper. You said it, it, paper plates. I just have a little stack here of a few of the types of dishes you can use in Hot Logic. But anything with a flat bottom. This one happens to be glass and it has a lid, right? This is a paper plate. It's a flat bottom. If you want to put a little piece of tin foil on top, you could. You have another baking dish. Oh, this is plastic, okay? But even like the aluminum bases, anything with a flat bottom will cook based on conduction so in Hot Logic. I like the idea of this because the truth is, and I'm not calling anybody out here at work, but the, malt, the community microwaves. Yes, they're uh, not very clean. They're kind of disgusting. They're not and very clean. Ugh. So I like this idea of having more of a control over the cleanliness having. of your lunch. And a lot of people have to wait for a microwave, you know, especially if you're a teacher. So my cousin actually texted me and she said, this has changed my life. Really? She's a wow. kindergarten teacher. And I said, wow, that's very dramatic. Are you being dramatic or is, <laughs> is that really? And I said, in what way? She said, before there was eight of us, we had to share one microwave and each of our meals took four to five minutes. So you can imagine she had about 30 seconds to eat by the time <laughs> <laughs> her kindergarten class walked back in the room from recess. So now she can plug it in at 8 a.m. because it will not overcook. She could plug it in at 8 a.m., 9 a.m., noon. It'll take about an hour depending on what's inside, obviously, but it won't overcook it. So it's not like microwave food or rubbery food. It's as if you've popped it into your oven so at home. How is it that it works? I want to lift this, this up. This is the hot plate So the hot right plate is here. at the bottom yes. of this. So this is actually a conduction heater, right? So it gets to a, si a single temperature and it stops. It doesn't get to 180, doesn't get to 195, it won't burn. It cooks your food to that perfect 170. And then you can see right here, that's a chili cheese dip. So I've took it Yummy. actually out of the bag to show you that let's say you're having a little get together little gathering, little party, and you want to have your hot queso dip or your chili cheese dip, and you want it to stay warm and not get yucky and congealed, you can take that plate out, set it out, and your dip can stay warm for your entire party. What a great idea. Oh, for the potlucks, for the summer picnics, yeah. the backyard barbecues. So we have black and green, blue, red, or orange, and pink. Five colors to choose from. This one is very limited. I really just want you to save me one black. I know. That's all I care about. I just want one. But you need to get one for you, too. Well, that's true. You okay, should get two. saved, too. Save me, too. I don't care what color. Get I just one want for two. your guy, one for you. Exactly. If you're picking them up. such a smart idea. Orange, I'm told, 50 remain. All right. These are the sweet and sour meatballs. 15, excuse me, in the orange. These come included in the recipe guide, the sweet and sour meatballs. So you can do meatballs inside here. You can see the containers we're using, a lot of glass and plastic. 
It can be anything with a flat bottom. It doesn't have to be glass. It doesn't have to be plastic. It can be paper. It can be aluminum. It can be, um, I've done like a sandwich that's just wrapped in like sub um, sandwich paper because it has a flat bottom. It'll cook based Ooh, on that conduction that heat. That's amazing. That's the spinach dip. So dips are a thing, right? Yes. Especially if you're having a gathering or a get together, you want them to stay warm, but you don't want them to either overcook or get cold, right? And you don't want to have to worry about it. Think about using your hot logic at a party, but take it with you wherever you go. Um, Whether it's those frozen truckers. meals or leftovers, frozen yes. leftovers, you know, from last night's dinner leftovers. Truckers. Truckers yes. use this all the time because most trucks nowadays have an electric outlet or they can get an adapter to plug it into their truck. This is from, fr this was from frozen chicken breast, instant rice and some vegetables and seasoning. These are meals that you guys are creating and you're talking to us about what you're creating in your hot logic. That's so really nice. You can see this is a frozen protein. It could be frozen shrimp. It could be a piece of pork or steak. That's from raw. It will cook from raw. Most often I use it to reheat and to cook the frozen meals, but it will cook from raw. So if you give it a little extra time, you're going to get a beautiful homemade meal that, you know, is it's as if you've popped it in your oven at home and maybe you're on the go. Maybe you're at work. Maybe you're at a sales meeting. Maybe you're in a hotel room. Wherever you are in your life, you don't have to stop by fast food. You can simply grab Hot Logic and eat a healthy meal it and is sort truly of change that. A portable oven. It is. It's the coolest thing. Isn't that neat? And the spinach dip is amazing. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> one of the one of the uh, recipes mm. we're giving you about mm. a half a dozen that come included. This one I like because all of us are, you know, we're busy. Whether you're a teacher, whether you're a nurse, or you're in a hospital, or maybe you're a veterinary assistant or a doctor, you can have leftovers without microwaving your food. So many people don't like microwaves. They maybe don't have access to a microwave, as Callie, you know, so eloquently pointed out. Their microwave <laughs> might be a little are messy. <laughs> <laughs> you can heat it. It tastes better when you're not microwaving it. It does. It's a healthier There's experience. About the microwave I don't really like. Microwaves were meant to just be quick, but when you have a better option, reach for that agreed, option. Agreed, agreed, completely agreed. Um, so plastic, <laughs> glass, paper, yep. frozen Look meals, what we've done here. leftovers. You beta. Are we, you so we reheated right a pie. You can see this is the aluminum bottom. I'm going to flip it up. It's a flat bottom. Anything with a flat bottom, just to preserve the heat. We kept a little, you know, piece of foil on the outside there. But you get to that even temperature and it stops. So I, I compare it to a slow cooker because that's sort of the technology that we think of. It's different because.